Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kamal Jeet. So today's look is all about smoky eye look. It's going to be very easy tutorial. So watch it till the end so you guys can see how easy it is. And also guys, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe and do like if you like it. So let's move on to the video. So first of all, I'm going to tone my face with cucumber toner. This is from TNW. This toner is suitable for all skin types. Now I'm taking serum. I'm using by the same brand. This is vitamin C toner. It is again good for all skin type. Now I'm moisturizing my skin with Aqua Soft Moisturizer. This moisturizer is very good for oily, acne prone skin. I am facing the same problem so I am using this. Now I am doing the eyes first. I am using concealer palette from Forever 52. I am gonna conceal my eyes with this. It has some thick consistency so you have to take it a little. Now I am blending it with a beauty blender. You have to blend it with a dabbing motion. We're gonna do frosty eye today. I'm taking black eyeshadow from James Charles. You can take any palette. Took very less product and I'm applying on the lids of my eyes. I'm not applying on the corners, like inner corner and outer corners. Because when you blend the eyeshadow, it will automatically go there. So don't apply it on corners. Now I'm taking small blending brush and a brown eyeshadow to blend the edges. I'm not doing intense smoky, that's why I didn't use any kohal before shadow. I wanted to do it in a simple way so you guys can easily understand and can easily do it. Black is very tricky color to work with. That's why when you want to try this look, go with very minimal product and do it patiently. Just take your proper proper time to blend it. I will add some frost shadow over this later on. Now moving into another step. Now adding some highlighter shade into the inner corner. This will give the eyes a pop out effect. It's done now. So now taking frosty shade, taking Huda Beauty's moonlight shade. You can take any shade like silver, gold, blue, green, yellow. It's totally up to your choice what kind of your costume is. Well, it's not mandatory to wear makeup exactly like your costume color. Color contrasting are in these days, so you can go accordingly. Taking e.l.f. Cosmetic Pen Liner to draw my lash line. I have used this liner in my previous sun gazed makeup look video also. If you haven't watched that, I'll attaching link below. You can watch from there. Lashes I'm using are from Red Cherry Mink Lashes and Lash Glue is from Miss Claire. Lashes are the same guys which I used in my past video. Yes, you can use your lashes multiple times. Take your time to sticking it and once it sticks, keep pressing it with original lash. Lashes are done now. Now next step is mascara. I'm taking Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara. And I'm applying generous coat of it on the rear lash and taking upwards. Now coming to the face, I am taking orange corrector from Forever 52 to hide all the dark circle and pigmentation for even looking base. If you haven't any pigmentation or dark spots, then skip this step and use directly foundation on your skin. Now blending it with beauty blender. Make sure you blend in a dabbing motion. This product consistency is little thick so it may take longer time to blend so do it patiently. Now after that taking foundation from the same brand which is in my skin tone. Always choose foundation uh, in your skin tone whether you have dusky skin, medium skin tone or you have fair skin tone. This will prevent you from oxidization. 
now highlighting all my high points of the face and underneath the eyes i'm using maybelline age rewind concealer for highlighting my face you can take whatever you have or whatever you like and also guys this step is totally optional if you want to avoid this step you can now doing contour for that i am taking dark brown shade from the same palette it has cream contour in it if you want to give that extra shadow effect or cut to your uh, to your face then use cream contour otherwise uh, you can use only powder contour now setting my base with powder this is from wet and wild it has two shade one is for contouring and other is for highlighting using in all the area where i have used highlighting just to set it properly and to get rid of the lines underneath and after that doing powder contouring on the area where i have used cream contour just to set it because we can't leave cream without setting it doing with a light hand i am not holding my brush from the front holding from middle and moving it lightly or you can move uh, circular motion also blusher i'm using from nykaa's blush palette have used this in my previous video also if you haven't watched it will give a link below you can check it out from there after all the steps setting the face with matte setting spray from nyx cosmetics after that i'm going to apply a glow to my skin this is from faces canada highlighter if you want that extra glow on your face apply it after setting spray this is a tip guys i hope this tip is useful let's do the lower eyes with the same brown shade which i've used earlier i'm taking a little and uh, blending it underneath for the waterline i'm using pac's white kajal to create a transparent waterline look this will make my eyes look bigger and end up doing mascara in the lower lash now i'm using lip liner from nykaa now one step away and the look will completely complete hope you guys love this smoky eye look tutorial and also guys if you haven't watched my previous video i'll drop them links in the description box make sure to check it out from there this lip shade is from forever 52 it's a brown nude shade i'll give product links below please tell me guys if you want to see such more videos tell me in the comment section and if you like this video please do like comment and share and do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get the notification whenever i post any video oops i forgot to fill my brows earlier so i am doing lastly yeah there is no particular rule to do your brows before anything you can do it in the end also i hope you loved this look i'll come up with another look very soon till then watch it till the end and subscribe guys bye